All right, folks, we have a great guest, a great author, and a book that has whew, it is, uh, really touched me already. It's called A Diary of a Fat Girl, How I Lost 40 Pounds, Overcame Binge Eating Disorder, and Learned to Love Myself After Weight Loss Surgery. Uh, Professor Lisa Sarjays uh, spent a time with us on, on learning about her story and her life journey. Uh, uh, Lisa, thank you so much for your time and uh, sharing this book. Man, oh, man. It's been a, it's been a, it's a, definitely been a page turner for me. Just a few uh, pages in, I've got notes everywhere and all that kind of stuff. So before we get too much into that, talk a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, uh, kind of how you, how you got through uh, your education part of life and that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, I'm from Clifton, New Jersey, which is a suburb of New York City. I've been here all my life. I did escape Clifton for seven years. I lived in Weehawken, right on the river. It was in the eighties. Um, I was in the corporate world. I wanted to study philosophy and I didn't realize you could actually go to college to do that. So I went into the corporate world, studied on my own, but I didn't like working in offices. I didn't like competing in sales. It was just an unhappy 1980s kind of atmosphere. And it was at my grandmother's wake, my father's mother. Mm. And I'm sitting there, I'm 30 years old, kind of praying to her as she's, you know, she was in the coffin on resting in state. And I said, uh, you know, grandma, you didn't see me do anything with my life. I don't like my job. I'm not married. I'm not happy. I promise you that I will make something of myself and your son, my father, will see me be a success. Hmm. And it was at that moment, I'm like, okay, well, I have to get out of the corporate world. What do I do? So at 30 years old, I took my SATs and applied to, uh, to university. I applied to Rutgers and I applied to Montclair State. And my father begged me, please go to Montclair State. He didn't want me going to Newark, even though he grew up in Newark. He didn't want me going there. Um, so I did, and I have my degree in philosophy with, uh, minors in women's studies and religion. Then I went on to seminary. Now it's an interesting degree. I, not to be a, um, a minister, even though others were studying for the ministry, I wanted sure. to study religion, theology with believers. Hmm. I didn't want to study with people who, who wanted to take God apart and dissect it and criticize it as an outsider, like people looking in a zoo at believers. I wanted to study with believers. So I did Drew University. I have my master's in theological studies. It's an MTS degree, very unusual. And then I began to teach at university. I taught at Montclair State and St. Peter's. And my students, it's interesting, when you're, when you're teaching religion, people think you have like the red hotline to God. They come to you for answers. They, what do I know? <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe I should consider getting a degree in counseling. And I did. So I have two masters, one in religion and one in counseling, so that I could appropriately converse with students when they come to me with issues. Hmm. Awesome. So you mentioned this pivot point of uh, the passing of your grandma. Um what was she like and how did she inspire you uh, to, to be such, cause that's a pretty impactful moment to uh, have at that time. Grandma Mary, she was the storyteller on the block and she did voices and she acted things out. And uh, you have to remember she was um, during world war two, not everybody could read. So she would read the newspaper to the neighbors. They would come and sit around on the porch and she would read the news and she would act out the part. We have a picture of her somewhere with a with a must, Hitler mustache with her fist up, <laughs> imitating Hitler. To, and the, ooh, everyone would scream and screech. So she was a wonderful storyteller, uh, a fabulous cook. You know, no measurements, <laughs> just handfuls of whatever. Uh, and she was fat. She was uh, very heavy and you know, to her demise. I mean, she lived to be in her mid eighties. I mean, that's still a ripe old age, but she had a lot of complications because of her weight. But obviously just, uh, 
touched you so much in your life and then it takes you to that moment and basically your whole life changes and a lot of schooling and a lot of touching lives that come out of that and then you decide to uh, put pen to paper and uh, talk about this journey that you were on. Mm-hmm.